Final Fantasy 16 has not been spoiled just yet. And uh, I know we this has been a topic on this channel. In particular, we've talked about, hey, have they shown us too much? I think the answer, personally, I thought the answer was probably not. This is a Final Fantasy game after all. There's going to be a whole lot more that we just haven't seen. What we've seen now is just barely scratching the surface, right? Like, yeah, this little conflict between your nations. <laughs> sure, that's the story. Nah. No, I think we got a whole lot more. We got a sky civilization. We've got the crownless kings, right? Like the defying gods and fate written in fire. These are things that we just haven't even seen in these story trailers. So, personally, going into this, I was like, uh, I'll be, I don't think I don't think we're seeing it very much. Obviously, they're not going to spoil the game. I think they're aware of what they're showing us. Although, like I said, I do believe that I did find something I considered to be a major spoiler in one of their footage trailer things that they've released. I was like, whoa, wait a second. And like I said, I will share that with with everyone after the game has been out, just in case. I don't I don't like to be that that guy. And you know what? There's my point right there. I said I don't want to be that guy who spoils it, right? I don't want to be that person that would spoil a story for someone else. And even if it's for content on the channel and yeah, you got to click the video to watch it, that's on you, right? I don't know. It's just wasn't, it's just not my nature, baby. And Ben Starr in that interview with Primal Liquid kind of says the same exact thing. He says, despite that all we've seen so far, that the story is not spoiled at all. So right, right away, Ben Starr is clearing that up. We haven't seen anything yet, is what he says. There's still so much story. He makes a great point that Clive hasn't even really spoken much at all in these trailers. <laughs> and, uh, and he's done hundreds and hundreds of hours of recording for the game. So if you think about it, yeah, like Clive hasn't really what he spoke maybe a couple lines in these trailers altogether, and even in the gameplay footage and even in the 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 Garuda demo, man, Clive hasn't really spoken. Now some people and some fans might be like, ah, that kind of that's a little worrisome, right? Um, and and then some of us are really happy about that because it's like, wow, you know, we're, it's all going to be fresh and surprising for us. I am constantly reassured by fans in this community uh, in the comment section that Creative Business Unit 3 is very strategic in what they show in the trailers. Many have even referenced Final Fantasy XIV and Walker trailers as an example of trailers showing only the first chunk of the game and everybody thought, oh my god, they're showing us the entire thing, but it was only the first chunk and they were just surprised about everything afterwards. So it's just like Ben Starr is saying, I hate spoilers. He seems to hate spoilers as well as going as far as not watching any of the trailers before going into a game. He just doesn't doesn't want anything to be ruined. He wants everything to be fresh. And that's how I feel, man, except for I will watch every trailer <laughs> because I got to fuel that hype. Anyways, uh, it just made me breathe easier, right? Uh, even that that chunk of uh, Hippocrates from the, the PAX East, or maybe it was the state of play, but showing off uh, the lore of Final Fantasy 16 at some, a certain point was like, hey, would you like to f me to read you the tomes? And it was basically a background of almost what we think are major characters. Like, uh, that was some, there was a revelation in there, and I'm like, oh my god, wait a second. I don't want to read any of this, and I didn't read any of it, but I think I, think I can now. I think I will. Just because I, I'm pretty sure that's just like, hey, this is world building stuff. You get to get to know it. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, it's probably going to be in the first couple hours of the game anyway. And yeah, what Ben Starr is saying here really makes me feel that way as well. It's really making me come to this realization. Uh, I believe him when he says we haven't seen anything yet. Now, the only thing left is the inevitable final launch trailer and of course the public demo that's going to be about two weeks before the game's release. Um, what do you want to see in the, th that final launch trailer? What do you want to see? Like, what have we not seen yet that will sell you on this game? I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're already sold on the game. You're just like me. You're you're you want this game just as bad as I do. What do you think gamers in general, maybe outside of the Final Fantasy fandom uh, that haven't been quite sold on it, maybe even within the Final Fantasy fandom, if you could put yourself in their shoes, what do you think's left for them to see that can be like, holy mother of God, I want that game. You know what I mean? Like, what is, what is left? What is left for you um, that, that you need in, in, a, in a, a final launch trailer? I want to know. I'm, I'm really curious. And also, what do you think about the demo, uh, the public demo? Do you want the public demo to be, like, let's just, if I gave you this hypothetical real quick, would you want the public demo to be the first opening of the game? Like, kind of like the bombing mission from Final Fantasy VII Remake um, when they did that demo? Or would you want something that highlights Icon versus Icon, right? Would you want that Garuda demo that we saw? Like, you want that finalized version of the Garuda demo and you get to play it all the way through, uninterrupted, all the way up to the Icon versus Icon, the Freak versus Garuda. Um, is that what you would want out of the demo? Or would you want it to, like, maybe a more bright and vibrant area? It's something we haven't seen before, if that's kind of... Eh, diving into spoiler territory for you, but I don't know. Like, would you want something that really showcases the game or the first opening hours of the game and maybe even let you carry over your progress? I that's what I'm presenting to you because I'd like to make a video on this uh, and I'll read off your comments and everything like that, uh, as well as the previous question about the launch trailer. What do you want to see in that? Uh, thank you so much for watching it. I do apologize for the lack of content uh, lately. I, I have this extremely sore throat. I'm powering through this right now, but it, it, as I'm talking, it, it hurts to talk. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I'm super excited for this game. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Okay.